Hello everyone and welcome back to my Twitch Hard Career live streaming in KSP 1.0.2. What you're about to see was recorded on May 17th and has been edited for YouTube. I'm cutting out all the slow parts while keeping as much of the live commentary as possible. Please follow me on Twitch to get notified when I'm streaming. I'm Tyler Race there as well. I typically stream on the weekends at 1 p.m. Pacific Time, 8 p.m. GMT, and also Wednesdays at 4 p.m. Pacific, 11 p.m. GMT. Now on to my commentary from May 17th. Okay, hello. And we are going to be continuing career mode, assuming everything is coming out alright. I think the music might need turning up, so I'm gonna try some custom music and this is courtesy of Kevin McLeod so let's give Kevin McLeod a little bit of a hello this is definitely not Scott Manley I cannot do a Scottish accent all right so uh, yeah Kevin McLeod music but not the normal Kerbal music I've turned the default music off so that is what's happening hopefully I have a good selection we will find out can you hear music this is important. I need to get the balance of it right. Hello, PL Spirit. Let's try something louder. And we'll see whether... this. Uh, let me pick a track that's about the loudest that we're going to get. Well, okay, let's, let's try some air breaking music. This works, or no? So we're gonna have some re-entry music here, or air breaking music. Anyway, we're continuing our our mission to Eve, and we need to air break at Eve. That's why we've got air breaking music on right now. bit too loud for you? Okay. Well, it's gonna vary a little bit, but we can turn it down a little bit. Okay, anyway, we need to get on with uh, re-entry here. All day soundtracks music. Reminds you of Mass Effect. Yeah, well, I, I've, I've picked them out. Like I said, I'm pretty picky about music. Uh, I like atmospherics. I do... I do uh, background music. But we've got many tracks for air breaking here. Let's try, let's see what the next one sounds like. Okay. Cross your fingers, folks. This could go badly. Um, actually, it's so likely to go badly. Let me lift it up a little bit. Nah, okay, let's just go with it. Here we go. Uh, okay, well, let's go to heat mode since otherwise we can't see our probe. Yeah, yeah, the memory leak with the temp gauges is still present as far as I know. I'm monitoring my memory just in case. Yeah, you can disable them with F10, so here they go away. Right now they're not having much of an effect though, so it's alright. I haven't had any serious issue unless it's a very big craft with a lot of them on then it seems to have more of an issue. Get the mod dill to disable the temp gauges by default, it's much easier. Well, I'm not having too much trouble and I would like to know when things are overheating. Yeah, I, I want to check up on heat so I don't want to completely disable them, so if they're not going to cause me any problems. But now I see my, my RAM is going up, so I'm going to disable them right now. We probably won't have too much trouble, it'll cool off. Let's make sure we are in orbit. Wow, that is a tight orbit. I really didn't want such a tight orbit because we need to transfer out to Gilly, which is bad. Now, uh, yeah, we've we've done the science around here. We need to transfer to Gilly. Okay. Well, now, figuring out how to do this will take some time. Okay, I need calmer music for me to be able to figure this out. Uh, let's go to a little bit jumpier. There we go. Our craft is safe now. 
Yes. Okay, so transfer. Well, let's see. Let's see if I can do it from this descending node. Just, just as a test, I want to see how far off I am. Well, that's pretty far off. I want to boost out first, and then let's meet it over here. I don't want to meet it over there. That's not so good. Circularize the orbit at AP and transfer to Gilly. No. <laughs> No, I'm not going to circularize the orbit at all. I need it high so I can potentially change my plane. But I don't want the periapsis to be too low. So 64-bit currently does not work. Uh, unless you're in Linux. Uh, and certainly the mods do not support it. I mean, you know, like fair mirror space. What software do I use to stream? Uh, okay, uh, oh, what, what you call it? Uh, open Broadcaster software. Open Broadcasting so OBS. Oh, heck, I can just point in this direction. All right. Uh, are all moons in Kerbal system rotating in one direction, or are they exceptions? As far as I know, they're all counterclockwise. They're all prograde. So I think we're going to have to wait a little bit of time before we can actually hit Gilly. Problem is I got into such a tight orbit around normally I wouldn't do this because I would use air braking calculator to figure out where I would hit Gilly but uh, you know to get the air braking rights to hit Gilly at an opportune spot but couldn't do that this time because error breaking calculator hasn't been updated for 1.0.2 so I'm gonna have to take this I've heard people saying they just stripped down near and took the part where atmospheres were superior well the thing is uh, they can't quite uh, copy near or far because uh, they wanted to make the whole atmosphere moddable uh, if you notice there's a physics.config in your KSP folder and so the way they made the atmosphere superior um, is just changing some of the numbers in physics.config yeah this little probe is cute it's basically a nose cone <laughs> cramped is not the way I put it compact is the right word oh we didn't do low over eve I should have done that uh, well, let's quickly do a high over Eve. Okay, well, we'll have to transmit this. Yeah. Okay, well, long burn is long, but uh, we saved a lot of mass by using the ant engine. And, of course, its specific impulse is good. The engine makes it look like the probe is farting its way to Gilly, basically. And that's not too far off. How much fuel do I need? To land on Gilly, not much. You have temperature already? Do I have temperature already? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, uh, oh, uh, do science, you mean. Okay, hold on. Uh, let's go slow here. I need to rotate this. Um, yeah, there's the thermometer. Okay, well, let's do that then. Measuring the temperature of space... Okay, this is the standard one. Alright, go for it. Thank you for reminding me. I was mainly concerned about the goo because we've got... We brought four containers with us. And I didn't want to end up with no... Con uh, I mean, a, a container that we didn't use. Uh, barometer should still work too, but... I sh oh, there it is. Okay, let's transmit that as well. This is transit music, by the way. As I, I categorized all the music from Kevin McLeod in terms of what kind of purpose I wanted. This is space transit music. Oh yeah, yeah, Mikey. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people scream at my videos saying "do science." It's 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 a tradition. Uh, now you get to uh, say "do science" live. Yeah. 
Well, that's that's why I'm live streaming, so you can say it to me instead of uh, commenting after the fact. Oh, come on. Don't give me that. Okay, there we go. Alright. Alright, so what did I miss? Uh, okay, science, science. Um, first time, yep. Uh, does somebody know some mod that adds air breathing engine that works in non oxidated atmospheres? Yeah, well, I mean, I think Kethane used to. I suspect maybe maybe carbonite does, but I'm not too sure about that. Wonder how much DV it needs to t lift off from Eve now. Well, less. It'll take less. Ooh, sudden loud bit. Okay. Let's go for something a little bit softer. Don't need that blaring in my ear. Okay. So, yeah, carbonite ones can work with in uh, with uh, the atmospheres. Um, yep. Launching off Eve with the new atmosphere settings. Well, I haven't tried it, but I would suspect it's less, obviously. Okay, let's go. So my ass Ray taken off from Eve in one of his videos. Okay, well, I'll have to watch that to find out, I guess. It's not like I do many Eve trips anyway. Took a giant Well, it always takes a giant ship. Um... Okay, trying to be careful about this encounter, because Gilly encounters, you can skip right out of them in a few seconds. I think it's only... it's a very tiny encounter we've got here. It's only a couple of minutes. That could be a problem. Well, it might, it's probably enough time to do the burn. I'm thinking, because we've got the ant engine, we don't have that much thrust. Okay. Um, I think we need to start retro-burning now. Otherwise, this is not going to work. Let's see how much it actually takes. Uh, retro... Up, oh, up, oh, up, oh, too much. Okay, well, actually, it's not that bad. Okay, cancel. It's not going to take too much. Good. I was afraid that we were in a very different orbit from Gilly, but... Yeah, I mean, you could uh, figure out uh, the logic behind the engine. If you want to edit the engine file you want to use, think about it. If you could carry hydrogen with you, then you could suck oxidizer out of a carbon dioxide atmosphere, right? Because you just separate the carbon off and you use the oxygen. So... So you could have some sort of logic like that. Depends on you. I should play Space Engineers. Well, I have Space Engineers. I just never got into playing it because uh, everybody's already building all this stuff. It's sort of like Minecraft. Everybody already did all the fun stuff. And I go like, eh. And besides, uh, making videos on YouTube with it is no good because you do hours and hours and then you end up with like a five minute video of showing off what you did. Uh, nobody wants to see you mining after all. Now doing it in a live stream maybe it's possible. But I haven't really thought about it. Oh, 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 too far, too far. Oh, stop, 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 stop. Well, we're, we're landing, but uh, let's, let's go stable so that I can figure out... Figure out a landing spot. It's nice having... Oh, this is why I went too far, because we've got like an escape trajectory just inches away. Okay, well, this says it's in orbit, then I'll believe it for now. I want a lit spot to land on. Alright, uh, has anybody reminded me to do science? Yes, they have. Thank you, Sisha. Alright, observe mystery goo. Okay, well, let's transmit that. I mean, technically I put a parachute on this and I was thinking about recovering it, but we don't know about the Delta V situation, so... I'm not going to take any chances with the science. Besides, we can't hold on to the barometer or therm thermometer stuff. Ah, I did that too quickly. Uh, they need more interesting blurbs. Yeah. Screaming along with Seaship. Okay. Uh, you know you can use your scroll wheel on the maneuver notes when you hover over the rust. Yeah, 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 I know. Um, I, you've been watching. Come on. You know I know. 
Or you should know, I know. Anyway, uh... Science Alert is also great for that. Yep. Well, of course, I'm fully stock here. Okay, let's get to this maneuver node. Hopefully it won't eject me into EVE space here. God, it takes a long time. So, how do we feel about the music, by the way? We've changed tune now, since we're sort of in transit. We'll have landing music soon. But, uh, how are we doing with that? You like it? it? It's a little bit sleepy. Yeah. At least this one is. Alright, so, we are on landing. Well, let's get some more exciting music on, then. Because it's time for landing. Let's see, what can go for landing? Crisis seems a little bit too much. Let's let's go for this. Yeah, that, that's sufficiently tense, I think. I'm landing on Gilly, yes. With this lander. See? Lander legs. Wait, wait, which way am I going around? Oh, I think I'm, I'm going around this way. Darn it. Well, let's adjust our path a little bit. Ah, oh, darn. The slow time warping around Gilly is painful. Just don't want... Yeah, I, I'll try and remember the near science. Never been there. Yeah, uh, Gilly's main problem is... Uh, it's really easy to land on, but you tend to bounce. And the other thing is... Time warping is really, really slow. This we're, we're limited to this time warp at 20 kilometers, and you can see it takes forever just to get to periapsis here. Well, you know what? We can we. Okay, forget it. This is this is a live stream. I don't want to wait. Uh, let's do that. I, I I can land on the dark side. It's no it's no fuss. Yeah, I could go to Space and Warp there, but I don't want to break the flow. I can't even zoom in more than this. Wow. Okay, surface. Yeah, I know. Oh yeah. No question about how slow we're going down. I'm waiting to see lights on the ground. Uh, let's, let's get a better look at our probe. We'll do temperature overlay, which is how I do that. So, uh, theory was 4... 4K? It's gonna take a while. Is this probe sl staying on Gilly? We'll calculate how much Delta V it has left. It's gonna parachute, so it could theoretically come back. And remember, even at slow speeds, if you uh, land with a s slow speed on Gilly, you're gonna bounce. And if you land with any horizontal velocity, you will bounce. Now the question is, landing on the dark side, do I have enough electric charge to transmit the data? Or do I have to wait until Gilly's in the daylight? It, it turns, it spins around pretty fast, I think. That's a good view. Never thought of doing this it this way before. Okay, I think we're down. We've landed on Gilly. Don't worry, we'll do the new Gilly science, don't worry. Uh, there, there was just no way we could figure out exactly where it is on the way down. And look, if it was 4 kilometers, this we're, we're still above 4 kilometers, so... Yeah, I don't think that's a, that's a good bet. I think they're still sufficiently gloomy for this music, right? Uh, okay, let's get rid of those. Okay, I need to take a look at my electric charge. Okay, well, Gilly's Highlands. I believe that. Let's try it. Okay, that's done. Can we do a barometer reading? Got a reading for a second? Nope, just a smudge on the gauge. Sounds good to me. 
Okay, I think we have enough for a thermometer reading. But where is the thermometer? There it is. Okay. Isn't near science calculated distant fr distance from the surface? Well, I tried it at about 6,000 uh, meters. I tried it at uh, under 8 kilometers. So... I, it didn't work. What can I do? Okay, so... I guess we can try and go back. Um, I don't see anything else we need to do on the surface. So yeah, let's do that. Uh, up we go. Any objections? Let me uh, make sure. Uh, any objections before I leave the surface? Have I forgotten anything? Hit another biome. Ha. Huh. Let's get into it first. Maybe then hit another biome. Because I can't even see where the biomes are. I suppose over here will be another biome. One goo to take home. I don't know, if we brought the goo canisters home now, even though we transmitted the science, would they still give us more science or not? We've got a thousand Delta V. They're considered spent? Ah, uh, okay, so... So there's no point bringing it back. Um, let me just verify that the... We can do the thermometer and barometer and the goo in another biome. Yeah, okay. So let's go for another biome. Shame, we packed a parachute, but we won't be able to use it. But, uh, yeah, let's just go for another biome. Okay, up we go. You can land it on Eve. This is true. But I don't know... Let, let's let's uh, see about uh, possible transfers and Eve whatevers. Um, we'll have to, let's get into orbit first, and then we'll check out what kind of Delta V we need to do stuff. In any case, if we do another biome on Gilly, we'll go to the daylight side of Gilly. Now, I wanted to check whether this was a new biome, but I need to... F I mean, uh, is near to. But where is my... Ah, oh, there. Barometer will be fine. Okay, here we go. Near. Uh, but we don't have too much electric charge. Uh, okay, well, we did that. So, about six... Under six kilometers, it looks like. We are uh, diminishing electric charge here. I need to get into orbit. Uh, yeah, I, I, I don't think... Uh, I don't... Uh, I think I already passed the limit before I could get anything else. We can try it. Let's try and get another one and see if it's really six kilometers. Um, I don't... Ah, there we go. Thermometer. Yeah, now it's high. So, six kilometers. Okay, well, escaping Gilly is easy. Your speed around Eve will not be over a thousand. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let, let's check it out. Let's see what a transfer back to Eve would take since we're hanging out here. Okay, so not that bad. Point my pa panels the right way. Well, we're still on the dark side. Okay, so we can transfer back to Eve. We don't have any way to point our panels. Okay, uh, so vote. Uh, do we land again on Gilly or try and land on Eve? I guess you guys will say land on Eve, right? I mean, we've done the mission. I mean, we've explored Gilly. We're done. So we can just go ahead. Getting to get Eve is easy. So we go to Eve. May you check the space center for a mission? Good idea. Okay, so now I know what an, what air breaking altitude we'd use around Eve. That's 70 kilometers, but what would it take to get down? Probably not 70 kilometers. We don't want to go so fast that we, go, we are going to burn up. But we don't want to get... Well, going slow isn't a problem. We'll just end up in EVE orbit. So let's err on the cautious side. Let's go 70 kilometers again. If there's an intermission to land on Gilly, choose Gilly. Yeah, that's a thing. We need some crash missions. I agree. I mean, heck, uh, if it's good enough for NASA, right? 
Uh, NASA did uh, crashing on the moon missions. I don't know, guys. It doesn't. Well, plan a flag on Eve. <laughs> no, we don't have any good Eve missions. We'll think about the. It looks like a lot of Mimis stuff. But uh, we'll do that when we get back. Keep it there until you have something for Eve. I don't think I'm gonna get something for Eve anytime soon. And we can still get the science after all, Raven. Yeah, how are we doing on science? Oh, well, we've got a lot of science, though, I have to admit. But then again, we're going to be unlocking the next bit. Well, I, I want the music to fit what we're actually doing. It, I, it'd be really jarring if we uh, threw something really heavy. Yep, solar panels are working again. Um, okay, I, I give up. Uh, we'll, we'll go to Space Center and Time Warp there. Anyway, the main reason I'm doing this is because I'm curious to see whether this thing will survive getting through Eve's atmosphere, right? I think we're all curious about that. You're just saying that's what you would do. Save it for a contract? Yeah. Oh no, it's a good idea. I'm not... Not against that idea at all. But, let's face it, we could send another one of these out. Okay, here we go. That's a bit too low a periapsis. Yeah, I know. I, I know... I mean, I watch Twitch all the time too, so I, I sympathize. Okay, here we go into Eve atmosphere with the intention of landing. Uh, near Eve science, yeah. Okay, thanks for reminding me, Mikey. Right of the Valkyries. Well, that's too, um, that's too typical, right? And also, uh, unfortunately, the recording, even though the original music isn't copyrighted, the recordings will be. Of course, I could make my own recording of it, but uh, that wouldn't be quite the same. Heat shield. No, no heat shield. No heat shield. This is what we're trying to test. Okay, we are near to Eve. Let's do some science, I guess. Uh, we've already done... Uh, well, this is high over Eve. Wow. How near to Eve do we have to get to be near to Eve? Okay, near near Eve. Okay. Transmit that. Okay. I... No heat shield, just fresh air. Uh, we've got one goo container left. I guess we'll do that, too. All right. Any bets? Time to uh, place your bets here, folks. I'm gonna risk turning on the little... Oh, uh, the temperature gauges were already on, okay. Didn't even notice. Upper atmosphere science? Yeah, we'll wait. We'll wait on that. Well, okay, maybe... maybe oh, hold on. Uh, okay, well, let's try it. I guess the antenna I don't snap off, right? I hope not. Uh, well, they could overheat. Let's try it. I'm so used to it, they would definitely snap off in Realism Overhaul. Well, everything seems to want to overheat. We've got the little gauges all over the place. Where are you, thermometer? That's the thermometer. Come on. Let me right-click it. We've got lag because of all the effects. Realism Overhaul after, maybe? Uh, Realism Overhaul, I'd have to... Uh, cook up a, a definite, a, a special install for it. The current install of Realism Overhaul that I've got keeps crashing. I mean, it'd be like 15-20 minutes and then crash. 15-20 minutes and then crash. 
so I can't do it on stream right now. I need a streaming version of Realism Overhaul if I want to do that. And that means cutting out a lot of parts and keeping it pretty spare. So I'll, have to, I'll look into that once they've upgraded the rest of the Realism Overhaul to 1.0. It's a little bit depressing that it's this this easy. Yeah, sorry about that, Dark Chaos. Uh, and Creeper Face. I, I, I want to stream Realism Overhaul, but uh, I can't have like half the stream be me trying to restart Realism Overhaul. Because, you know, starting the game with Realism Overhaul takes, takes a long time. There's all those mods for it to load up, right? But yeah, since I can't have half the stream be me loading the game, I have to figure out how to install it where it's not going to keep crashing. Easy to make YouTube videos, of course, because I just walk away and let it load up during that time and come back to it once it's ready. Remote tech has the antenna breaking the... Oh, it's, yeah, it's remote tech. Well, I generally I don't play Realism Overhaul without remote tech, so I, I sort of view it as part of the package. Well, we've got some seriously overheating parts here. It doesn't look like one of them is parachute. It's mostly like the batteries and such. It's 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 not the happiest thing. Let's let's take a look at. Yeah, it's glowing a little bit more now. The lack of burning is disappointing. Yeah, I have to admit it is. Okay, I think we should try popping the pair. I don't know what altitude this is. It's probably pretty high. It looks like we're not over water. Okay, so I'm gonna reduce that and I'm going to deploy the parachute. It's gonna take us a while to get down. Started a new career yesterday with 120% max heating. Still all that exploded were those small fins. Okay, so even 120% of uh, heating does not uh, do too much. Good to know. Next time, put it in action group. I don't know if we have action groups unlocked. Do we have action groups unlocked? I don't think so. I, I haven't even checked. Normally, by this point, I haven't got action groups unlocked in career mode. So I didn't even think about that. Busy making a design with radial engines and a heat shield, and now you have no need. <laughs> Yeah, I thought I thought I'd have to make some cleverer designs too. You can return direct from Minmus to Kerbin with a PE of 35 kilometers and use less than 70% of a 1.25 meter heat shield on 120% heating. Do we even need a heat shield? <laughs> That's what I'm wondering. Uh, with 120% heating, could we get a little bit higher in the atmosphere and not use a heat shield at all? Maybe. You think I have basic action groups? I'll have to check. We'll see. Whoa, okay, a little bit of a hard landing, but all right. Um, hey, let's, hold on. That, that was very ominous. Now we've uh, settled down. Let's get some achievement music. Oh, RSS, the real solar system has not been updated, correct. Okay, Eve's Midlands. Okay, transmit that. My PC costs probably about six hundred six hundred dollars. Yeah. Okay, well I guess that's it, right? Unless we can't we can't we can't go up. We can't make a hop to another biome. I don't think. I don't think we're getting to another biome here. Whoops. Okay, so are we done here? Yeah, anyway, uh, I think we're done with this probe. It is now our permanent probe on EVE. All the goo containers are done, and we're not getting it back off of this. So let's head back to the Space Center and check on the action groups first. Let's try that. <laughs> 